Good morning and welcome back to subsistence. Oh dear, I may have made a mistake. I have a cougar on my tail. Oh my god, it's fast. It's very fast. I'm a bit worried about this. If this cougar follows me up here, I'm in trouble. Oh, that's good. Right, it stopped. Um, hopefully it can't path up here. Right, he's underneath me right now. Okay, let's use the pistol for this last shot. Oh, you're down underneath me. Oh, that's awesome. Right, good. Oh, let's reload. I was a little bit worried there for a moment. Oh, no need to be really, but always better to be cautious. Right, we've got a level two cougar. I'm just taking him out. So, welcome to subsistence. Oh, lovely. Look at all that sinew. That's great. Um, okay, so I'm back in the game. Over the weekend, there has been an update from Cole Games. Alpha 50 is now available on the experimental branch. So you can get on Steam, opt into the experimental branch and go and play um, and have a look at Seasons. Um, so we've got Seasons in the game, definitely. Along with loads of other changes. I mean, it's quite a substantial list. Uh, it's not just about the weather. Uh, well, it is mainly about the weather. Sorry, that's a bit of a daft thing to say. Um, yeah, but seasons. We need um, to heat and cool our bases now. So we'll need radiators in the winter and air conditioning. And I wasn't expecting that at all. We'll need air conditioning in the summer. Um, we need appropriate clothing. So we have um, sweaters for fall or autumn as we say in the UK and winter jackets in the winter um, I don't think there's any changes particularly in summer because of, you know obviously the kit that we've got right now is um, is quite adequate you don't get too too hot although I think there might be an element of having to take off your protective gear because it might keep you too warm in the in a heat wave for example so that'll be interesting um, there is um, the water degradation, your, your thirst will increase in the summer. Um, in winter you need to pack snow and melt snow for water because obviously the river is frozen and the lake is frozen so there's no access to kelp or the cave for the um, crystal. Um, there is now a, uh, quite a, a change to some of the animal behaviour. So in autumn, in fall, the moose have a rutting season, which is, it sounds fantastic. And they are now more aggressive during that period. So their behaviour will change. They're no longer passive all the time. So realism, you know, uh, as much as you can in a video game is definitely up there now it's been tweaked uh, much more immersive I think that kind of gameplay is um, in the winter the bears hibernate but there is a new white wolf um, and I think it's a little bit more sneaky I think I'm pretty sure I read it as uh, being described as a little bit more sneaky um, but definitely probably more aggressive than the uh, the regular black walls that we see all the time. Um, I'm trying to think of all the changes. I I'm holding off playing um, experimental. I should explain. Um, a lot of feedback um, has come in from the community about some of the changes. Um, for example, weapon degradation now is a big thing, and it was set too high. It was it was weapons were degrading far too quickly. I think. Um, and based on the community feedback, um, repairs were too expensive, weapons were just breaking too quickly and um, Cold Games has now tweaked the settings on those now. Um, and I think uh, also he's still working right now on the temperature system. 
So in your base, outside your base, um, temperature will react differently based on the weather conditions and what you're wearing. A lot of balancing is being, is being done and still being done and still being tested by the community. So I've decided to just play the regular Alpha 49 just for one or two more episodes probably. Um, I don't think it'll take long for these changes to be implemented and um, these little balancing tweaks to be made. But the core um, changes in the update are there, so it's, it's just a matter of fine-tuning the settings, I would imagine. Which is pretty exciting. I, I think the actual environment, the, the look of the, the seasons from what I've seen on a, on a video or two, uh, are really they're really beautiful it's it's going to look fab i can't wait to get in there and try it myself but i didn't want to make those annoyances um with something that is obviously going to change in the future to be part of the of the the video and the experience of this season i'm thoroughly enjoying this playthrough as it is um We've done a really great job of getting established quite quickly this time round. Um, I've actually done some weapon upgrades this time round and you know we've got all the gear that we need. We just need to sort of get into the diving side of things next and those uh, those changes as I say, the, the tweaks to the balance of the game will come quite quickly uh, and I'm quite willing to, to just wait for another few days until it's sort of a little bit more polished and uh, and then we'll update the game and get stuck in so but all the foliage changes apparently based on the seasons so we'll get like lovely heather in spring it looks like heather it's those sorts of pastel colours, they look really beautiful and I reckon probably with the heat wave and the, the temperatures in summer we'll get a lot of brown dry, gla gr dry grass and then in autumn, in fall, all the leaves will change colour and start falling and then of course we've already had a little sneak peek of, um, of winter and I was not disappointed in the look of that, I mean that just looked so exciting to me So lots and lots to look forward to. I don't know if there's been too many changes to hunter behaviour and that's that sort of side of the game. I think that pretty much is. Oh, that was something. I'm remembering things as I'm talking. Um, I had a, a brief look through the patch notes. Um, there's a draft, um, I don't know if I said this already, but there's a draft um, set of patch notes, um, subject to change posted by Cold Games in Steam. So if you want to go in there and sort of have a look at the, the long list of of changes that is made, and there are a lot of them, it'd probably be worth your time heading in there and having a look. Um, but uh, yeah, I think haun hunters now um, wear appropriate clothing as well for the season. Um, and I think the problem with some of the clothing, problem from our gameplay point of view, not design or the, the problem with the game something we're going to need to all get used to is wearing a big thick coat we won't be able to use our combat vest for example so there's a trade-off keeping your temperature stable and, and you know coping with the environment is going to make you more vulnerable out there if you run into hunters they'll be in the same boat I don't think they'll have as much protection either but it really is sort of making every encounter you know it's a, it's sort of mixing up the variables and the possibilities of how of the outcome of the battle and you know it isn't just a point and whoa it isn't just a point and click and co um, cookie cutter um, experience that we've sort of been used to up till now um, you know, through two shots to this part of the body will take down a hunter with this level weapon. You know, the, there's other variables now and it's different each time and real variety of experiences. Now you'll notice that 
it is got well it is getting dark I was going to say it's got dark it's getting dark um, I'm actually out um, a little bit later in the day but I just sort of wanted to talk about a few of the changes briefly um, so this will be probably a much shorter video today um, but I just wanted to sort of give you um, a heads up that I haven't updated to Alpha 50 yet um, just waiting for that to come out on stable and then we'll get stuck in and uh, I'm really looking forward to it let's get back to the base I think because we've got hunters let's go and make sure they're not doing too much damage they should have finished by now oh we've got a level one something just there let's avoid that sounds like a wolf oh there's something else in front of us another wolf okay We'll head this way and we'll go across the bridge. But I was very glad to get that cougar ride at the start of the uh, the video. That was uh, that was fun. I didn't know whether he was going to chase me all the way back to the base. He did a pretty good job. All right, we've got much. Oh, we we need to do some repairs on this bridge. Otherwise, we're going to lose some of it. Um, but yeah, I'm, that's where I'm going to leave this one for today. I'm going to just have a look round. You don't need to watch me stand and hammer things and tidy up. But um, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. In the next episode, we'll do a bit of a normal length episode. Whether it will be Alpha 49 still or Alpha 50, if that is out by then. Um, but uh, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.